Hello traders, welcome back to session three. How to trade the black gold, how to trade oil, CL using tick and Renko charts. So as I mentioned, this is session three. If you haven't watched the other two sessions, I recommend you uh, go back and watch those as well. And please remember traders, whatever I cover here is applicable to futures, Forex or stocks. The same setups and same philosophies uh, and strategies work on every time frame. So my name's Ray, better known as Samurai Trader, and I love day trading. So I'm going to pull up the disclaimer. There is a disclaimer we need to do to, to display. Let me get, it's getting late in my day now. <laughs> so traders, um, uh, as you're watching recording, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. If you haven't already, the income uh, spreadsheet that I show, you can now download free of charge uh, if using the link Below. and there's a little instructional video that will teach you how to actually use it make sure uh, you subscribe to my channel uh, go visit my site for $197 you get um, hundreds of hours of training all my indicators we cover uh, gold futures Forex lots of different topics so let's get into it now as we discussed in the previous session we want to have a maximum of a 2% risk as we build our account traders we then want to lower our risk and as I illustrated on the earlier spreadsheet 300 day a day is a good target for a trader working three to four hours a day it's quite a, a sensible conservative target for a full-time trader now you can do just as well trading the Globex session as we're about to see four eight tick trades a day will get you there so uh, as we can see here starting off with 6,000 we're up to a potential income of 10,000 a week in 11 weeks and only adding additional contracts every time we earn an additional $6,000 so as we discussed in the previous sessions do I have a setup does it meet my trading rules does it fully qualify if it's a marginal one we want to discard it that is uh, so many traders suffer from what we call FOMO fear of missing out so where's my entry which we're going to continually or continue to look at on the tick charts and Renko where do I place my stop where do I exit now this is very very important we must know where the pivots are because as you've seen in the previous two sessions pivot levels are very very important and so are the major EMAs being the 89 and 200 EMAs they are what we call reflection points and also offer major support and resistance points next thing do I have a fixed target or do I trail my stop so let's now go straight back to where we left off on session two now let's just go back here now you may remember where are we here when we finished up last time we had this let me just make sure I've got the right spot here 50 tick chart yes market's still ticking away here we go okay so when we left off we had a major divergence trade at the time or, or set up and so you may remember we, we pop right down we started to get some major divergence here set up we then uh, had divergence on our anchor chart I'll just show you over here anchor chart one and there was no divergence on the anchor chart two but what we did have was what we call the t3 pattern a gapping away from our trigger line and we had a beautiful um, potential trade setup what I also also illustrated for you was the using the fractal trade entry technique above the 21 EMA when you have a fractal break now you actually had two potential uh, entries one on the close of a third candle which is the one that we showed at the end of session two and we had the fractal break now what I also uh, explained at the time was when we rallied up to the cyan that this was a very even though it's a 2b it's a very low probability trade and the reason being I want to say very low it's still probably a 65 to 70 percent but as I also explained many of these turn into an ABC setup so after you have major angulation 
there's our angulation there and on this chart and we have major divergence we quite often will have an ABC setup so traders where to from here so what we can see here with the fanning of the EMAs our EMAs have started to turn and right there you had a 34B entry where that white candle is now you actually have two entry options you can either enter on the green candle which is straight behind that white candle that's actually green or you wait if you wish for added confirmation until here which is when the white paint bar would have um, uh, plotted and completed now where's our target well look straight ahead traders we've got what have we got straight above us we've got the floor pivot now as I explained in earlier sessions that when you're trading with the trend when you pop through a pivot and you go up there and you retest it expect to continue to trade in the direction of the trend these turn into what we call a PB a pivot bounce but not only do we have the pivot here we've also got the 200 EMA now remember I mentioned to you that there are two major EMAs on all time frames and all markets that we're concerned about the 89 and the 200 there so many traders follow them it's it's really a self-fulfilling prophecy now so if we enter this trade here we're after our 8 to 10 ticks so we come up okay and bang okay so you've got now you would have gone the break even at plus six or plus seven and see right there you're getting reversal some resistance that's where you'd exit so look you might have only picked up five ticks out of that remember what I said in the last video five by five yes I can five five tick trades a day is $250 gross 225 net and three by eight which is my two B's three of those a day and I'm doing my over 400 a day and so <laughs> any members watching this you know what we say five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can this is when you trade oil it's slightly different mantra of course when we're trading other markets now what I've got here is quite a deep pullback so I want to wait for uh, the super scalper here and note here traders I've also got divergence so I would definitely short this uh, as a short and you'd answer this and you'd want your stop one tick above the high so we would be short our target there would be eight ticks now it's coming up and it's tested our stop right to the tick so we're still mighty fine we're still in this trade but this is why I like to have my stop one tick above now remember we've got to look at ourselves as pilots pilots read their instruments if you're flying over night time you can it's pitch black outside you're reading your instruments and that's what we do our instruments are our indicators and what's the word indicate mean to indicate to indicate where price may go now let's as as we all know or most of us at least will know most indicators are lagging we've got a few leading indicators such as floor pivots and the major EMAs because we know they are price magnets and support resistance areas now for members in the room and uh, at this where it's beyond the scope to explain it here in this session but members in the room uh, this as you can see here is a bit the farm and I just should mention out I mentioned this traders uh, when I say bet the farm it's a tongue-in-cheek we still follow our exact same trading rules unless you'll say trading so if you're trading at a 1% risk level as you know we never risk any more than 2% so if you're trading 1% this is where you can add to your short position when you have a bet the farm trade okay our stop once again is one tick above coming up now we're really after that eight to ten now we probably get our eight to ten ticks now okay so at this level we'd now have our eight to ten to be sure to be sure we'd have ten ticks by now okay for sure by now actually let me just measure this okay let me tell you exactly uh, the that some um, open was uh, 54 and just get I'll just take the low of that for now low 50. well that's actually it's only seven ticks there so actually traders we're only down seven now you would be at break even as you know now you've got your 10 ticks okay now you've got your 10 ticks so what do you now do 
okay well I'm generally ex expecting to bounce off the 40 as you can see we're a bit shy of that right now I have virtually no divergence to speak of so look at the overall trend now remember that's what you'd be looking at at the time now traders please don't give me the crap oh look we can we're going back over the old chart look we're reading it from the right hand side this what I'm pointing out here is not rocket science traders what's the direction of the EMAs trade with the trend now once we start to get deeper pullbacks yes divergence in the direction of a trend is a big bonus for us and I wait for three lower closes as as added confirmation uh, now if I've got a solid trend like this we can enter on a short-term stochastic hook okay but when you've got a very deep pullback we don't use the hooks okay uh, unless you've got a t10 which is right there but what we actually uh, are looking for there is divergence or the super scalp at a plot so what we're now looking for is another with trend trade note the fanning of the EMAs here what can you see there okay so we can see there that I've got a bounce of the 89 and I'm going to tell you now traders that I get stopped on that trade I had a legitimate entry and it's a dodgy end and let's remember also this is the globe session on only a 50 tick chart so 50 tick the problem with the really low time frames because you get a lot more noise however we're now looking it's it's a stop out okay so now we've got a pullback I'm looking for another bounce at the 200 or the pivot and there it is right there I don't have an entry yet remember I need this and there it is bang right there there's my three lower closes there is my short where's my target down to the 40 level okay uh, and there look that's only four or five ticks and there you have another entry and now finally you've come down and you would have picked up your eight to ten ticks romped it in now there is uh, one two you had a loss you had a number of wins there but there is your three by eight easily your three by eight now this is Globex let's now go and have a look back at the New York session so let's just take a random uh, a random spot shall we so let's just go back let me just quickly scroll back just randomly I'm just looking down the bottom here just to make sure traders that I'm within uh, the New York hour. and the reason I want to be within the New York hours is because here I'm going to illustrate what to do here we go I'm just looking at the bottom okay so we'll start from here and the, so let me finish that the reason I want to illustrate from really the open of the uh, New York session or thereabouts is um, the size of the uh, ticked bars that I'm using as you could see but back on that other window I was using 55 tick here we basically got this is our 8 30 uh, no sorry my apologies this is our 7 30 Eastern Standard Time so the main market is going to really fire on within the next 10 to 15 minutes so we need to increase the time frame it's got to be tradable so this is usually where I'll switch to the 233 tick chart and the four tick uh, hope it look the four tick Renko I hope I can always use the two tick that is if it's slow enough I'll go and use the two tick if it's too fast I've got to jump up uh, so the two I've got to go to the four now yes you could use a three by the way all right now as you can see how nice and smooth the Renko makes it however many traders prefer tick charts and you will have additional setups but this is where you can have the best of both worlds by having these on two screens you're looking for the same patterns where they repeat themselves so what we've got here is what we call uh, just up there we've got our t20 so we're looking for shorts from here on in and here is our first real short just there which is what we call a 21 B now price is coming down now what I'm looking for here is I've got some divergence setting up just here coming down coming down and I've got a little bit of a bounce just there now let me just check that low I just want to see what the low is just there traders what's that low okay 23 reason I was looking was uh, 
we have a bounce point of course at 6420 we were three ticks off that bounce point now see the divergence here so we've got some nice divergence we probably have divergence also on the anchor charts and look perhaps I should show you this let's just have a look and the reason why this is important if I've only got divergence on my entry chart I'm only targeting the gold on the other hand if I've got divergence on the higher time frames we target the cyan the 89 this is very very important okay so if we've only got divergence on a lower time frame and I'm very close to the 34 I'm not interested in it okay if I'm fair distance from there say a good six to eight ticks I'm I'm interested okay because I can still get in and have a scalp now look at the time there 816 and let's have a quick look and I know it sort of throws me out a little bit by doing this and there it is right there now note here on the entry chart one I've got no divergence see that but on the anchor chart two sorry anchor chart one did I say or entry chart? <laughs> on the anchor chart one I've got no divergence on the anchor chart two I've got divergence I definitely want to take this now where's my target my target up here is the cyan now note this also the gapping from the trigger line that's also a big positive for us so let's see where we go and we've touched the, uh, the cyan right there now this is what we call a 2BD now it's a bit like remember on that lower time frame I showed you I said it's a lower probability trade because we quite often this will turn into a ABC maybe a double bottom yes it might continue however we've got to be cautious with these so what you can do if the market is slow enough you can still take the trade but get ready to exit if the markets really pumping um, just sit these ones out okay now we've come down and you would have actually picked up 10 ticks out of that and now there actually is the double bottom now we've got more divergence we won't flick over to the anchor charts we'd have the same thing now my stop would be entering this uh, now we would be in now we're taking the trade where's my target again it's the cyan again the 89 now the 89 up to uh, our 6450 all right because remember our 50 level is like the pivots is our support resistance area okay now I would be out personally right I'd get out right now personally all right now there would only pick up six ticks and it did go up another three or four ticks now we've got an, a great trade entry right now so what I've got here is a 2b and this is one of these bet the farm trades again I've got a double top with divergence with the trend I'm going to take this short well I would be taking the short because <laughs> we're not trading live now where's my entry my entry in this case here is on the close of the third candle I may get in a little bit early before it closes I'm watching the countdown clock here now what I've got to watch is this that's a lot more than an 8 to 10 tick stop okay so I've got some flexibility of up to 10 ticks during the New York session but I want to be careful now because it is about the farm and I've got good solid closes I will take this uh, I'd limit my stop to 10 ticks okay uh, where's my target my target is just down below here at the 6420 level okay beautiful so we've now hit the 6420 coming down coming down now there's a whole lot of way and we don't have time to really go through the different um, uh, trailing uh, concepts that we've got but we've got a lot of different options there but let's just um, we're in well I would be out now quite frankly all right coming down very very nicely thank you now here's our pivot we've got um, uh, just got to remember here's our pivot here's our uh, s1 I think this is and we'll have and there it is bang right there a midline pivot right there now notice the, the, the white paper so it means I've had three higher closes I've got no divergence I know you can say that but that's 
too wide a spot this is a zero lag MACD now I give you the settings for a normal MACD so a special setting so it'll do exactly the same thing with a standard MACD but I don't have an entry here right to take a divergence trade there is no reason for me to take this right now all right so look uh, and right there that is as you probably guessed the 21b as you had another 21 there's your 21 there there's your 21 now the, the 21's a lower probability trade uh, and I wouldn't take that one personally because I'm just above the pivot now I could just see then it, it punched through would have been a nice 10 tick trade however it just didn't meet my criteria because it was selling right into that pivot and right into the round number all right so now I know members might be thinking well couldn't that be a pivot magnet trade yeah it could have been if you were fast enough okay yes it could have been now I've got divergence now I've also got an entry okay so now we've got an entry so my target will be the cyan and let me show you this this is very important see the number of legs we've had down so almost certainly we'll have divergence on the anchor charts there it is there now and this is how things can change see how we've got uh, that's big picture it's sort of getting a bit dodgy but here I've got definite divergence here now and then we get back to this one and we had divergence here so this gives me a 2d my target is where if we have divergence on the lower time frame we go for the gold otherwise we go for the where the cyan and bang we would be out now what have I got just here we've got another another one of these two BDs it's after major divergence so a lot of these uh, turn into double bottoms or ABC's if the market is fast I'd probably not take this okay I'd probably give this one a miss uh, we are getting towards the market open and there is the open and there is the ABC that we usually get now as we're coming up what have we got above us for 200 and we've got the 50 level what am I expecting a bounce now let's just have a look at the timing of this okay so market opens 9 9 17 27 look that entry is going to be too fast for me okay that one is just too fast now remember uh, I, I won't trade this the ES open of an ASDAQ but oil is different but that is just too fast so I'm going to look for another trend and what time is that one? Oh, there it is there now we've got here's my next entry okay so I've got a really nice uh, 2b at that point now I would be waiting for the three lower closes which means my 10 tick stops only going to put me up here now this is the decision you need to make is that in a really fast market if I get caught up with the flow of a river I'm happy not to have my stop up there however if it's really slow I really need to have my stop there so I will take this my stop is only going to be a 10 tick up here somewhere let's now talk targets what we can see down below I've got the pivot we've already broken that and I've also got the 64 so I've easily got a good 10 tick target now one of the things we could do, be doing here to trail here is waiting for a close above the blue trigger line we're still in we're still in we're still in okay now I would be out now with my 10 plus ticks 10 to 12 um, now we've formed now a double bottom just there see that there we've now got a double bottom right at the 64 level and now we've got something interesting here and we need to look at the anchor charts traders in the end I can promise you you'll never ever trade without anchor charts once you learn these patterns because the patterns we see every single day so let's have a look no divergence and I've got divergence so what we can see here this is what we call a big picture double bottom that is on the anchor charts um, or on the entry charts you really don't see it so much we actually could in that case but quite often you don't see it see them now here I've got no divergence but I've got great whoops sorry about that don't know what I did then get get away from there get get away 
<laughs> um, no just a sec I don't know what's happened here here we go managed to get rid of it so there we've got great divergence now on the entry chart and because I have to finish up in a minute let's just whiz down to where we were at that stage um, oh hang on that was way back here wasn't it it was this point here okay so there is our double bottom there is our 1d and then it started to turn into divergence now this is really more of a 1DA and I put it when I say a it means it's an A class now when you've got a 1DA that is divergence on your highest time frame that is where you go for your cyan up to the 200 so you go for a much larger target now let's remember traders what usually happens is we stair step um, rarely do we just go bang on the way up so that's just something that you you need to be aware of that we usually do stair step on the way up so uh, let's just see what happens here we come on up okay now there we, we now get what we call a pivot bounce now I've got a pivot bounce against the 200 uh, I've had tested the 200 how many times now once twice I've got no divergence so what I would do here we'll just wait and see what happens on this trade now I'll tell you right now what we're now looking for is divergence see this here uh, let me just get the same spot here I just don't want to drag it over too far I wanted to show you this that's it that'll be it right there what you're getting here is on your high time frames a double top again what's the trend bias as you can see we're still thundering down so what are the ideal trades we wish to take we're looking for shorts at this stage yes if we get a golden divergence trade we will take those new members don't even consider these early okay because there's you know there's five or six important things you need to remember it's a hell of a lot easier bang bang going with these now see here we had some divergence so what I really look for when you're getting uh, really deep pullbacks and there it is right there see how I had a super scalper plot you may not see it just there and I've got another one just there look at that right there traders okay so see how I've got massive divergence it's now dropping away now not so obvious uh, maybe that's turning maybe that was it there I'm not sure where it is but we want to take this for 10 ticks a good bounce point is our 20 cent level so we've probably got a good 20 oh, look there's a good 15 ticks down to that level okay and you can see there you were one tick off touching that specific level at that time now we will finish up with this oh look actually just want to show you this here see that right there on an entry chart a lower time frame it's not quite so obvious until you look at that on a larger time frame see that there it's a lot more obvious it's an ABC setup so what you want to watch on your anchor charts is where you see these sorts of patterns these are really reliable particularly after an extended move in the market now let's just have a look before we finish just at the two tick Renko let me just make sure I think I had it on global roaming yep so because that'll put me then at the same spot which is what I want to be at so uh, six minutes look that's that's a little bit too fast so you might jump up to a three tick Renko now what it means is every one of those steps there is worth $10 but you can see how smooth these can be but the the, the two is a bit too fast there so let me go back to the four tick Renko um, where are we here that's uh, the ATR I got the four should be I should have the four I've got multiple windows here we go there we go okay so here's what it looks like on the four can you see how easy these patterns are there is a 2b that is the 2bd look at these beautiful divergence trades you pick up there's a 2b that's a 2b okay this pulling back here there is another 2b now each one of these steps down is two is twenty dollars two steps uh, is two ticks two four six eight ten twelve 
14 15 16 well you easily touched 16 ticks on the way down now what I want you to see is this look at your anchor charts can you see any bounce points that are all in alignment let's take this one look what's happening where we're bouncing here and look what's happening where we're bouncing here all of these bounce points are, uh, except for the 200 are fib numbers and they basically they're reflection points that just work in sync with each other and that's why I say to new traders there's no need to take divergence trading initially like look at these here beautiful double bottom great divergence let me show you this here see that there fantastic fantastic I want to take it that was now remember you're not into the third two four six eight ten twelve fourteen it went up a bit higher than um, when I think it touched 15 or 16 ticks so the easiest form initially is trading with the trend is learning how to trade these inflection points with the trend so traders I've covered a great deal in these particular sessions uh, look it doesn't matter which market we apply these to whether it be stocks whether it be um, uh, gold oil the ES Nasdaq the micros the strategies work on all markets now the only time they don't work is this is when you enter a trend too late for an example with a trend trade or you have someone with a fat finger on the other side of the world where I have traders say oh these don't work the fact is they don't trade in probabilities that is one of the trading books that you should make your trading Bible is the disciplined trader by Mark Douglas and in there you'll actually start to learn to think in probabilities we don't think in trades of one one trade at a time we think in lots of 20 rarely will we have three or four losses in a row rare as hen's teeth and when we do we get excited you pump yourself up for anticipation because you're one step closer to your next trade in other words you've got to learn to trade like a casino what gives us our edge what gives us the casino the edge our rules and probabilities trading with the trend or taking golden divergence trades even ignoring the t19s when you've only got divergence on your lowest time frame but trading the higher time frame now all of this some people can look at this and say this will take ages to learn yes it is a 90 to 180 day internship if you're a new trader remember you're trading against some of the brightest minds in the world however most of them unless they're trading algorithmic trading computer trading they're trading patterns and all of the things I've shown you thus far are patterns geometric patterns that we see appear in the market each and every day if you fail at this it means you've given up what you've got to do is say for the next 30 days I'll take notes and you'll have these aha experiences then you start on the simulator you see with trading when we look at the psychology traders bring their personal problems to their trading that is if you're desperate for money and you bring that to your trading you're probably going to fail uh, and as you can probably say I'm being very blunt with you because I'm the one as your coach you can see dozens of emails a day from members and it's the same issues if you trade within that one to two percent risk you honestly do that it makes trading a lot easier and by using the NLP swish patterns uh, if we go and use the squared pattern and things like that we can get ourselves in a peak trading state it makes trading that much easier so trading is not not a destination it's a journey fortunately for me <laughs> and for many people it's not rocket science but it's about discipline and if the 34b is not working for you or if the 2b is not working for you it means you're doing something horribly wrong because they are solid trend following strategies what are we trading in the direction of our higher time frame so traders I will leave it there 
I'm probably going to do some live videos on the MES now or um, uh, I might even do gold next to get a lot of people joining me that trade gold so anyway uh, make sure you subscribe become a member download my video become a member $197 you get to attend eight of my live two-hour coaching sessions included in that if you want to continue with my coaching thereafter uh, it's only $97 a month and you can cancel at any time so anyway I hope to see you as a member thanks traders <music>